Big Trouble with Simple Machines by Nathan Schreiber. Evening Exercises, Science Ninjas Academy, Newton. A force is a push or a pull on an object. When you push on those sandbags, you apply a force. When two objects interact, like you and the sandbag, there is a force on each object. I'm not an object. Mei Wu, cadet. You push on the sandbag, and the sandbag pushes back. It won't push you over, but it won't fly away from your hands either. It resists. For every force, there is an opposite force. Forces come in pairs, so... Sumo challenge! Every cadet find a partner! Too tough, not her. <gasps> Uh-oh. I hear she weighs a ton. Will any of you cowards face Cadet Wu? Carlos Einstein, Cadet. I will. What took you so long? I slipped on teriyaki sauce after dinner. I had to wash my bum. Objects stay inert until a force acts on them. Neither opponent will leave this ring before a force compels them to. How strong will this force be? It is equal to the wrestler's mass times their acceleration. Force has a magnitude and a direction. The effect of a force on an object can be canceled by the effect of another force. Free body diagrams show the relative magnitude and direction of all forces acting on an object. When these forces are balanced, they cancel each other out. But when these forces are unbalanced, there is a net force on that object. One force overpowers another. And we will overpower your resistance to mold you into elite science ninjas. You will augment our efforts. You will amplify our force. You will become machines. Science Ninjas presents Big Trouble with Simple Machines, written and drawn by Nathan Schreiber, that's me, edited by Carol Burrell. Far, far in the future, humanity made tremendous progress, but there were still problems. To solve humanity's problems, scientists created a new type of human. The first genetically modified humans exhibited exceptional strength, speed, and durability, but consumed resources at alarming rates. When the public learned details of the GMH program, a scandal erupted, and the program was terminated. The only two specimens were enrolled in the Ministry of Science's Security Division, also known as Science Ninjas. Who does science serve? Science serves humanity! As cadets, they lived a regimented life. 6.30, make bed. 700, morning drills. Strong body. 800, breakfast. 8.30, classes. Strong mind. 1200, lunch. 12.30, labs. Science serves humanity. 1400, chores. 1600, GMH monitoring and injections. 1700, free time. It's a note. It's from Eureka. 1800, dinner. Have you seen Cadets Wu or Einstein? Find them. Are we still going to Sandwich Town? Fermi, we're starving and if we miss curfew, we'll be in big trouble. Can you two keep a secret? Eureka Fermi, 11 years old, certified genius, recently promoted to Science Ninja. Sure. I found something buried in Shogun's top secret files. Julie Jules, a science ninja who disappeared under mysterious circumstances 80 years ago. She abandoned a technology called the Nova Battery. It could have changed everything. Her blueprints mention a prototype. We're going to go get it. So why not just tell science ninjas about it? Someone's going to get a lot of credit for this new technology. I want it to be me. You don't have to worry about curfew while you're with me. I'm not a cadet anymore. You're an official science ninja. So cool. Yeah, but you're not sins. We'll still get punished. Even if your mom is sure You didn't have to come. You want me to bring you back to campus? It's no trouble. Follow me. There's Noop to hold you over till we get to Sandwich Town. How'd you find out about this prototype? I hacked into Shogun's database. Wasn't too hard. Actually, it was pretty hard. Julie Jules, master of physics, pioneer of holography, creator of the bullhead mech. This is her secret lab. Is she, like, a mad scientist? She was eccentric. Her only hobby was playing video games with her cats. So what does this Nova battery do? It's hard to tell. 
Either it's a power source for artificial stars, or it harnesses energy from black holes. Is there any more noop? Carlos and I need more food. I didn't expect them to go through them so fast. This won't take long. Dr. Jules was a security expert, so this could get dangerous. So that's why you brought us. We're supposed to be your bodyguards. Just look out for booby traps. Uh, bad. Big bad. Carlos, did you? Ah! My ankle. Fermi, you just got us in deep. Clouds? Did we fall up? Dr. Jules developed advanced hologram technology, so everything we see could be an illusion. You alright? I sprained my ankle, but I'll be okay. Whoa! There's a kitty! There's a perfect device. It makes anything possible. But if you want to obtain it, you'll have to face obstacles. So don't chase your tail. You must follow me. Only I can lead you to the Nova Battery. Nova Battery? Bye-bye for meow. Do you know what that is? It's a catapult! Guess we gotta chase that cat if we want to find this Nova Battery. Let's look up here. There's two buttons. Okay, don't press any- Whoops! Cool! When you push the first button, half a staircase appears. Push the other button and you get the bottom half. Let's get these blocks up there. Then we can climb out of here and get some food. We'll throw it from here. Thing's gotta weigh a thousand kilos. It's the shortest distance from the ledge. Throw it as hard as you can. You're wasting your strength. We can't just power our way through this. You're only saying that because you're weaker than us. You don't measure strength just by how hard you can punch something. Dr. Jules left us a puzzle. We have to solve it. May, you were right. Huh? You were throwing that block from the shortest distance to the top of the ledge. You and Carlos are pretty strong, but if that thing is a thousand kilos, you can't just throw it up there. Yeah, it's hard work! That's right, Carlos. In science, work is the ability to move an object. We measure work by the net force, a push or pull, on the object, multiplied by the distance that force travels. Throwing that block up to the ledge would require tremendous force over a short distance. But if we use this plank right here, we can make an inclined plane. You mean like a ramp? Exactly. We push it forward and the inclined plane pushes up. But we have to push over a longer distance. Yeah, but so does the inclined plane. Remember, work is force times distance. The longer the inclined plane pushes, the more it adds to the total work completed. It's like the inclined plane is a friend helping you push. When we use a tool to put out more force than we put in, it's called mechanical advantage. If we heave the block up, it would be the same amount of work, but it would require a force greater than we can apply. But with the inclined plane's mechanical advantage, it's work we can actually accomplish. Huh. We. If our plank was longer, we'd have an even better inclined plane. We could do the same amount of work with even less force. Nice work, Carlos. It was easy work because we used more distance and less force. It was even easier work for someone. You're both a lot stronger than me. Besides, I have a sprained ankle. That reminds me, Carlos, can you carry me up the stairs? A staircase is really just another kind of inclined plane. Stairs go up at an angle, so we travel a longer distance but use less force for each step. It's the same amount of work as jumping straight up but one is easier than the other.